Some time ago, I made a video about my top three favorite military equipment made in the Nordics per country. And since then, a lot of you have asked me to do individual videos about each country. I've already done Sweden and Finland, which you can find links to in the description. And today we're moving on to Norway. When most people think of Norway, they think of striking natural beauty. One of the most democratic nations on earth, various forms of fermented, dried or salted fish, which they spread across the globe and unimaginable oil wealth. The reality is that Norway boasts one of the most technologically advanced military production capabilities in the world and is a supplier to many of their NATO allies of everything from air defense systems, cruise missiles, smart shells, to anti-armor launchers and drones. Norway used to be among the poorest nations in Europe, which was never conducive to an advanced weapons industry, like that of its neighbor, Sweden. But all that changed with the advent of Germany infringing on Norway's neutrality in World War II, and especially Norway striking oil in 1969. The relatively poor country suddenly had money to invest in a weapons industry, and funds were injected into, among others, the companies that are now named Namo and Kongsberg. Before we get to the amazing Norwegian equipment, I'd love to ask you if you could hit the like button. It really helps with the algorithm for my small channel. It would be stupid of me to mention any other equipment as my first pick than the NASAMS. Developed by Kongsberg, this system is currently in operation in 15 different countries and have proven capable of downing anything Russia has to offer in the Ukraine war. It includes a system for mobile launches mounted on a 4x4 and Kongsberg is currently working on a long-range variant that will be a direct competitor to the Patriot. NASAMS is the air defense system of choice when it comes to protecting the White House and Capitol in Washington, D.C. Seeing as I am an infantry grunt, the second pick on my list would have to be the iconic M72 Law. Produced by NAMO, it has been deployed to over 20 conflicts. I know plenty of veterans who were deployed in Vietnam, and back then, this was their go-to weapon of choice when it came to anti-armor or fortification warfare. It is still in use in large parts of NATO and has been upgraded more times than I can count. By all accounts, an iconic weapon made by the Norwegian defense industry. Rounding off my top three will have to be the Naval and Joint Strike Missiles. A joint venture between Raytheon and Kongsberg, these missiles are two designations of the same missile meant for different platforms. One for ground-based launches and ships and one for a very specialized role in the F-35. Kongsberg has received a record number of orders for these missiles this year and are having to ramp up production massively as more and more countries adopt the F-35. Pilots rate these as some of the most stealthy anti-ship and fortification missiles ever developed. And originally, Norway made these to strike out at any potential naval invasion of its shores and getting away before the target noticed them. Next on the list will have to be Norway's Skjold Corvette and its incredible shipbuilding industry in general. The Skjold was long hailed as the fastest military ship in the world, and with recent upgrades it is still undisputed when it comes to the combination of firepower and speed. Its purpose is to sneak up on larger enemies and take them apart with its naval strike missiles. Up next is the highly acclaimed Black Hornet Nano Drone, developed in Norway by Fleur Teledyne. It is a staple of most high-end NATO special ops teams and has seen extensive use in Ukraine and on counter-terrorism missions worldwide. Though it has a pretty hefty unit price, it allows its users to seamlessly patrol ahead in very tight spaces, and it is very hard to shoot down due to its small size. It is also almost soundless, which makes it a big wish list item for rescue and espionage missions. The Norwegian army operates an undisclosed number of these drones. Perhaps the most important military production in Norway has to be its extensive range of artillery shells and ammunition, and especially its smart and guided shells. NAMO is one of Europe's largest producers of ammunition for artillery, and also boasts ram projectiles, which rival the firing distance of any other 155mm product in the world. The war in Ukraine has shown the world that artillery is still extremely important in warfare, so Norway is doing everything in its power to increase the output of NAMO, the Crows and other remote turret systems developed by Kongsberg is a must on this list. These top-of-the-line pieces of equipment ensures that soldiers can stay inside of the well-protected armored vehicle while on patrol or in an engagement. In Afghanistan, these turrets reduced the amount of casualties for machine gunners drastically. 
Though it is important to note that they do reduce the normal input a gunner would have as you lose some overview and sounds in, for example, urban environments. Kongsberg has variants for these, capable of carrying the Javelin, machine guns, and larger caliber systems like the Bushmaster or autocannons. In the era we are in with FPV drones posing a significant threat, Kongsberg has also developed a drone countermeasure turret, which will automatically fire at enemy UAVs. Intelligence has proven to be king for Norway. Being so close to one of Russia's main military hubs in Murmansk also means that there's plenty of signals and intelligence to be gathered. While many people do not know this, Norway's continued investment in their Marjata program means that they have one of the most advanced signals and intelligence ships on the planet. Rumor has it that it was Norway that picked up the signals and sound signature from the then sunken Kursk submarine in year 2000, which ultimately led to Russia and then newly elected Vladimir Putin, having to admit that one of their billion-dollar nuclear submarines had sunk. FS Majata and Eger are likely the two items in the Norwegian armed forces that irritate Vladimir Putin more than anything else, as they feed a treasure trove of information back to NATO data centers. Having one of the longest coastlines in the world means that Norway has had to focus on how to best patrol and guard it with the resources allocated to the Navy. One of the equipment types recently developed by Kongsberg is what they call the Vanguard system, essentially a containerized plug-and-play system where armaments, drones, helicopters and underwater assets are easily interchangeable in order to save cost and time. It is systems like this which will enable Norway and its allies to increase the size of their navies by using the same platform with different modules, and Kongsberg is at the forefront of this research and development. What many people don't know about the Norwegian defense industry is that it produces a large part of the rocket engines and missile propulsion systems for many of the most famous missile systems in the world. The AMRAM, IRIS-T, Patriot, NASAMS, SAMT, and Sea Sparrow systems all carry rocket engines produced and designed in Norway by NAMO. It accounts for much of the total export of Norwegian arms and is a testament to the quality of Norwegian production. To conclude, Norway produces really high-end military equipment as a result of how their society is built and vast wealth. While other countries often struggle with ideas being blocked by the top level of the industry, Norway's flat management system and democratic values lead the charge in much of the research and development of high-tech military equipment in the world. Together with Sweden, it is becoming quite the giant when it comes to its own specialist equipment, especially with missiles, anti-aircraft and smart ammunition. If you like this video, I'd be honored if you hit those like and subscribe buttons. And I'll leave links to my other videos on Nordic military equipment below in the description. Have a good one, folks.